Alert the authorities. Dirty Dom is on the premises. I thought snitches get stitches, Corey. I'm not ratting on Dom. I'm telling the lawmen to watch their backs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio! Many people, including myself, still have a bad taste in our mouths over the way Dominic has treated his Hall of Fame father and his entire family. What an ungrateful child. Oh, Cole, Dirty Dom is simply following his own path, refusing to walk in anyone's shadow. And frankly, it should be admired. What amazes me about Dominic Mysterio is that he says he has absolutely no regret about his new direction. Well, I happen to be extremely proud of Dominic and feel that he should be proud of himself. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Out of everyone The Miz has faced throughout his career, his greatest opponent is the rule book. Someone who will do anything necessary to win and, of course, protect his status. Because everything he touches turns to gold. An A-lister is must-see all day, every day. The WWE's resident A-list celebrity, The Miz, looking to make a star shine even brighter tonight. The Miz is one of the WWE's biggest stars ever, and there's no question why. He's one of the most dedicated athletes we've ever seen here. Whether you agree with his tactics or not, you can't deny his desire to win. We'll see if those tactics come to fruition once again in this match. And he's squaring off against the pariah of the Mysterio family, Dominic. Put some respect on Dom's name, Saxton, or he'll show you the true meaning of prison justice. Plenty of superstars have called out The Miz for his underhanded, perhaps even cowardly tactics in the ring. Corey, how do you counteract someone like Miz who always has a trick up his sleeve? Springboard! Watch out! <laughs> it's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. What a hurricane. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. And Miz perhaps lost a bit of focus there. Dominic with plenty of fire behind that attack. Oh, stop right to the hand. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Thrown back in under the ropes. Great counter. The sleeper is in trouble here. 
One takes a lot in a match like this. Looking for a power bomb, but no counter. Uh oh, this could be bad. And then whipping them to the mat. His shoulders are down. Kick out at one. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Great wherewithal on the counter. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. Dominance like that is why The Miz is still an A-list talent in this business. Or at least why he still thinks so. In the cover. No, kicks out. He thought he had it. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Ooh. Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Figure four leg lock applied. Dominic Mitt trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. This is just too far. Get some control in there. No, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, easy. Quick reflexes from Dominic. <laughs> Snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape with his boot. He's taking this to the floor now. And Miz gets stopped in his tracks. From behind, back suplex. And gentlemen, the Miz may be fading away here. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And he gets set back into the ring. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. What are they going to do here? Leg snap! Inflicting more damage to the leg. Bang, knee right on target. You can see the dismay on the face of The Miz. And that's him refusing to play along with Miz's games and staying resolute as he takes command. He's really slowly getting up. From the top rope, paying it right back with a reversal. Neck breaker. Boom, it's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Breaks the count. Exactly what he deserved. No, oh, Miz doesn't deserve any of this. Oh, 
Oh, straight to the floor. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this, this big match feel. Uh-oh, sunset. Flip! as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Jeez, what a way to make us sweat. Cover! Two! Kicks out. He still has life. Good Lord, scarily close to three. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Delivered into the barricade. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. thrown back into the ring. Three. Dominic perched up top. Look at the high But is that enough for Dominic? And yeah, that's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on uh, his opponent. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Alberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. 
Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. And their opponents, first, representing Case University from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds, Duke Hudson! Duke Hudson is such an inspiration. His fellow students know to work hard, fight for their dreams, and always go above and beyond. There's a reason why that MVP trophy is made of solid gold. Duke's the real deal. We're looking at a big brawler with ridiculous power and deceptive agility. We know Duke understands the assignment. He's the one who created it. Check page five of the syllabus. Mm hmm yeah, Duke did his thesis on the empowerment of striking first and taking matters into your own hands. Now here's a scene that's just too sweet. He's gone NWO. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 250. John Cena! Cena is a top guy, but I don't know if he runs the show like NWO did. The NWO didn't play fair, but John Cena always has. Has he? Maybe Cena didn't realize just how much power and influence he always had. Maybe he's always been NWO for life. And Corey, I know you could feel a collective gasp from the ladies around the arena for Los Lotharios. But uh, looks could kill these guys would have a rap sheet a mile long. And in the ring, they're just as deadly. Technique as... Nice Russian leg sweep and the octopus. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. with a suplex. Power slam. This athleticism is off the charts. Up and down, what a slam. And that definitely made solid impact. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Oh, he must have seen that coming. Nicely done with the head scissors. He's getting a little batter now. Humberto certainly put his best effort behind that move. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. let's get it on. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person and make a statement. Deadlift gut wrench suplex. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Angel showing his instinct. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Punishing the leg. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Shoulder tackle. He's, he thinks he has it. And he powers out. Somehow, some way. Golly. Oh, callous. 
Rick's rake. You can see the marks forming already. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. And he tosses it back in now. Able to get there in time. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Tag switching it up. Up to the top rope now. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Big knee to the midsection. So much damage inflicted. Right to the face. My God. Lands the elbow. Well, shoulders down. This could be it. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Getting him into the corner. Wrist lock applied from the top. Arm drag. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Right to the face. My God. Solely focused on in the corner. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Counters with an attack on Umberto. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Hits him with the counter. had less than a second to stay alive there. <laughs> wow, belly to belly. He's tagging out. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Right across the larynx. Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility.
Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. And her opponents First, from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the Women's Triple Crown. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. JC Jane, a superstar with a rock star attitude. JC is willing to do what's necessary and ready to be savage if she has to. If she has to, she's usually in a hurry to hurt the competition. Already so accomplished, I can't wait to see what JC does next. Well, you won't have to wait much longer, Cole. We have an exciting triple threat match on tap here. Set for action, we have Indy Hartwell, Alexa Bliss, and JC Jane. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where you start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. And did you hear the impact of that? Placed into the corner. Look at this, going counter for counter. Gets clobbered with the ax handle. JC. Textbook neckbreaker. Big right connects. Flashback. Clothesline all the way onto the apron. Oh, the counters with a shoulder to the gut. What's she looking for under the ring? Stop to the gut. And it's time to play the game, as they say, with this sledgehammer. Look, that could be it. And the referee stops the count before two. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Knees meet face. We got a little tandem offense in our future. How about 
can't stay the best of friends during the duration of this match, but they got the work done now. This might be the start of something. Side Russian leg sweep. Looks like that chip on Jane's shoulder may have just gotten knocked off. This is offensive wherewithal was on point. Ah, she's trying, trying to create space. the solar plexus. Yeah, yeah. Reverse DDT. She's able to get out of the way. Yeah. Rip, are you blind? Great way to completely disrupt the momentum and buy yourself some time. Power slam. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled neck slam. Looking bad for her here. Yeah, Jane was definitely hoping to make a major statement there. This is just punishing, disrespectful, and mean. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Uh-oh, look at this! Into a suplex of their own! Matt slam! With some attitude. Oh, stomping away. Fishing for something beneath the ring. She's ready to do some serious damage, courtesy of that steel chair! Sure as hell did right there. <laughs> Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. I know she's in a league of her own, but this is ridiculous. And the DDT just devastating. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Big form. Got a hold of the arm, just wrenching. Oh, man. Arm breaker takes him down. Aggressively attacking the shoulder. We got a cover. She gets the win. Alexa Bliss gets the win. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys, but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there are no consolation prizes in triple threat matches, Saxton, but you have a point. All three of these competitors really gave it their all here.
Please sit down, Byron. Please. I can't help yeah. it. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E. At a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day! Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won Money in the Bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. And Corey, all of that success is a testament to the power of positivity. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And their opponents, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. There is no safe quarter when Gallus is in action. Everyone is a target. Representatives of the New Day out here for this match. New Day loves to have fun, but guys, this is a tag team that could easily be considered one of the greatest of all time. Especially when they get rolling in the ring. New Day loves to pick up the pace, get the action going, and get the crowd pumping. Absolutely, Byron, and you can bet they'll try to do that here in this one. Well, if you want hard hitting, no nonsense grappling, look no further than Gallus. The Gallus boys are rough and tumble and nothing else in between. I definitely think their idea of fun involves no smiles and a lot of heavy, heavy hits. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Springboard off the top, and boom! What a launch, I'm surprised the rope didn't collapse. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. Crushing double stomp. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Answering back. Mark didn't see that coming. Reaches his partner for the tag. Watch the quickness on this. Snap suplex. Caught with the elbow. Quickly, the cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He's far from finished. Slam. Good night. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man. Leg drop arm breaker. <laughs> Hoist it up. All the way out. Oh, my 
my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Lands face first. Leading offense. Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. A very tough spot for Xavier to be in. Nice running crossbody. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. And Xavier wasn't looking too thrilled there. Set up in the corner of the ring. Boom, Joe with a timely counter. Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. WWE fans now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Looks like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. Time to venture outside the ropes. Oh my, what a splash! Joe looking unfocused after that blow. If Kofi can produce more of that, it might get the job done. Sends him into the corner. Look at this going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Tagged in. Painful attack focused on the chest. Saw that one coming. Oh, God, that hurt. Big elbow. Uppercut. Jordan. Kick to the abdomen. Kick to the stomach. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. And there's the cover. He got the shoulder up in time. That's smart, taking the one to catch your breath. That got turned around on Mark Coffey. Left by the turnbuckles. Drop kick. Shoulders down. And he fights it off. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Great flurry of offense from Kofi. You cannot deny Kofi Kingston right now. Boom, right across the small of the back. <laughs> Things went from bad to worse. There's Mark with a counter. He got whipped into that corner. Shifts it back onto him. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Tags him in. Let's go send off by Joe Coffey. He's going for the pin. This could be it. How could that be fair? Come on, Rep. Keep these guys in check. He's heading up top. Thinking big. First up. Pop. Catches nothing but air. There's a tag. Tag. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. 
From a seated position, this takes tremendous power. Oh, a suplex. Counters that. Into the corner now. Setting up. Nice suplex. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. A wrench in the arm. Chunk slam. Looking for the victory. He's able to sidestep there. Effective arm drag. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Oh! behind them, but this one has the sting. Back to the drawing board it is, guys. Don't let it get you down. Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angelo Dawkins, representing the from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Guys, raise your cups for the Street Profits. We only have bottled water, you idiot. Well, look at me. I've got a cup. Check it out. What is in that cup? It stinks. It's homemade kombucha, Corey. Hey, you want some? No, your loss.
You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The Black Heart. And his opponent, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! A multiple-time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. Not a sight we're used to seeing, but Montez Ford is in singles action tonight. While well, one-on-one -on -one competition isn't exactly what Montez is known for, I think we all know that he has what it takes to get things done by himself. With his explosiveness and incredible aerial ability, this match could be a game changer for Tez. Yeah, Byron, we might just see quite the show from him here in this one. And Tommaso Ciampa has proven time and time again that he is someone who is willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead, to get the advantage, to capture the win. As he should be, Saxton, that's the point. If you're not doing everything you can to come out on top to get those Ws, then maybe you should get out of this business. Wow, belly to belly. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, foot just stomping down. Ford did his homework there. We know Champa likes to keep a slow, deliberate pace in his matches, loves to control the flow of things that way. Corey, I imagine that if you want to really challenge him, you have to pick up the pace. Absolutely, Cole. You can't let Champa control things if you want to have a fighting chance. You have to speed things up. You have to outpace him. The end was in sight. Ford seems unable to turn the momentum here. Champa is so systematic with his offense. Uh-oh. About to hit. And look at the bloody outcome from that last attack on Champa. Champa not the only one in this matchup willing to do whatever it takes. Even on the attack, Montez just has that swagger. A oh, costly error there. Oh, and a forearm. And targeting the leg there. Line. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Driven down. Sight set on the top rope. Sky high. The top. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up in one. He's still in this. Boom. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Champa hits back. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. It's almost hard to believe that this epic rivalry began like any other, with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all-time blood feud. Yeah, and who could have predicted when all this began that they become bitter enemies, the likes of which we rarely see. A oh, step ahead of Champa. Yeah. 
He was waiting for him to make his move. Into the corner. This can't be good. Again. You can see the effects of that on Ford's face now. Champa has flight in mind. Here we go. From the top. Whoa. Kimbrata. Unbelievable athleticism. It takes a certain. That's it. Champa got him and picks up the win. What a statement win for Tommaso Ciampa. It's surprising to see Montez come up short. Tonight, he just didn't look like he brought his A-game. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal The most dominant club in the world. Marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. Here comes the monster of all monsters. And his opponent, from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Force for this one. It's ready to handle a monster beatdown. Let's start with AJ Styles. You know, people thought he'd never make it to WWE. Said he was too small, he couldn't learn or adjust to the system. 
Well, those people were more off the mark than Saxton. Not only did Styles make it here, he shot immediately to the top and has stayed there ever since. That's the kind of drive he possesses. History has certainly proven those naysayers wrong, Corey. Maybe it will again tonight. But that's not a man across the ring. It's the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Strowman has raw, freakish power, but what makes it so devastating is just how smartly he uses it. Yeah, Braun's really upped his game over the years with a real focus in the ring that helps him apply his physical strength in the most impactful way possible. Out reverse DDT for Styles. Are you kidding me? Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And he's able to counter. If we've said it once, we've said it a hundred times before. When you're face to face with a big man, the best course of action is to do everything you can to chop down the tree trunk. Take out the base of the monster, and you'll be one step closer to taking him down. Neck breaker! Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. AJ evades that one. Sleeper slam! Strowman wasn't having that. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. He's able to fend off the attack. Forearm smash! From behind. Neckbreaker! Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. And Strowman couldn't get his hands on him to prevent that move. Yeah, prime example of Styles proving how undeniable an athlete he truly is. AJ on the receiving end. Gets out of there in a hurry. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. That can take you out, and it can certainly neutralize any size difference. Oh, what a counter. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Range down an elbow retaliation. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Got right in the solar plexus. Boot to the stomach. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Sent into the corner. Got them right in the corner. He can end it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Close call. That was almost lights out. Headed to the top rope. From the top. Diving elbow driver. Are you kidding me? He may be in a bad way here. If you can dream of a wrestling maneuver, AJ can likely do it better than your imagination. Crafty way to get out of harm there. And another counter. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Styles has that look. Gonna try to end it. Strowman able to get out of the way. Here it comes. Neckbreaker. Styles is taking charge. And you have to hand it to him. He has chopped down the tree trunk that is Braun Strowman to great success. Oh! Kick to the gut creates separation. Uh oh! Whoa, right into a chop block. Debilitating counter. AJ Styles rolls through. In the ropes, forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Powering up their opponent all the way across the ring as 
a lot of ground to cover. And again! Oh, my God! Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh. And deep into this match, Strowman unloads a big one there. Yeah, this match continues to take its toll on AJ. Alley-oop! The end for AJ is looking inevitable here. Braun Strowman hoisting him up. Boom! Braun takes him down. Is it enough to put Styles away? Cover! No, he gets the shoulder up. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. He knows how to avoid contact. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. Maria is fighting out with a series of elbows to the top. AJ's looking for it. Stars crash! Did AJ get a hold of it? There's two! What in the world? The monster among men roaring back at the last second. And AJ Styles thought he had it there, but this battle goes on. Styles with a head of steam toward the top. Watch out. Low down splash. Yeah. Move salt. That was beautiful. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. And he's able to reverse. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Big boy. Knee left. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. This one is headed outside, guys. Face first, lethal combination. into an elbow drop. Six. Styles not backing down one bit. Looks like he does want some. Uh, wrestling and the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. An agile escape. Hard drag. Very nice. A barrage of strikes being delivered by Styles. Dare I call it a... It's just a phenomenal blitz there. Uh-oh. Right to the knee. Um, hammer it away. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. A continuous attack on Strowman. Now you don't often have your way with Braun like this. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Braun needed. Prime opportunity now for Braun to get some separation and gather himself. Cross landing, powerball. On a flying four. Braun Strowman finding himself on the losing side tonight. I have to say, I'm pretty shocked. Braun just got toppled. I guess even monsters have their weaknesses, Saxton.
The double champion is here, flashing her gold collection. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Hermione Ripley! This is a grand entrance for a woman who's made history. She carries the weight of two championships. She is absolutely at the top of the women's division, and she's carrying the two championships to prove it. We are looking at one of the greatest competitors in women's division history, and there's your proof. She is tough, she is determined, and she is standing tall at the top of WWE. One of the best women strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons. Built like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly in aerodynamic tank. One of the hardest hitting women in the WWE, Nikita Lyons, looking to impress here tonight. And when you consider her size and strength, coupled with her martial arts background, it's no surprise why Nikita has seen so much success early in her WWE career. Yeah, Byron, I'll expect we'll see her use everything in her bag against her opponent. And she's in the middle of the destructive path of the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. A woman who has taken her domination to a higher level than ever. Rhea has been hell-bent on continuing her reign of dominance on the women's division. And she's not slowing down. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. And now gets tossed into the ring. No way! Oh. Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Hair pull mat slam! Stop after stop after stop. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Is there a proven strategy for taking on an experienced powerhouse like Rhea Ripley? I think the best strategy is constantly target her base. If you weaken Ripley's legs, it'll be harder for her to hoist you up and hit the riptide and make it much easier for you to stay one step ahead. Throws her back in from ringside. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Effective. She can end it here. She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Oh, well scouted by Ripley. Excellent opportunity for her to shift the momentum. The cover! Shoulders are down! Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Firm control. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face. Tossing them aside. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. 
Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Oh, saw it coming. Just a good old toss for the leg. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Nice sit down, power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. German yeah. suplex. Ripley with an opening to go high. Incoming. And she doesn't connect. Nasty kick. Good kick. Nothing fancy there. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. Elbow drop. Came down like a lead balloon. Cover. Two. And she kicks out of two. Wow. Uh-oh. She keep her down. She gets a quick kick out there. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Oh, oh, oh. oh and she turns it around. Oh, the shoulder takes a pounding there. She's starting to drag a little bit. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Camel clutch of plot. Trying to part her opponent's fingers. Needs to find a way out of this hold. And she does. Side slam. First with a waistlock takedown. Lions counters. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Ooh. Oh man, right on the job. That'll ruin your day. Great counter. Rhea Ripley showing off her outrageous power. Electric chair into the face buster. Ripley just pushed the hands of time on the doomsday clock with that move. The powerhouse, Rhea Ripley looking to force her opponent into submission with the prism trap. Is she gonna tap, tap? Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Once again, our women's division is putting the whole industry on notice with a match like this. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. The arm absorbing the damage. Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Great response to Ripley there. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Uh-oh. She ran. This could do it! And she fights it off. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oof. Big form. Hooked up. DDT. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Strong punch to the midsection. Someone hold the roof down, because I think it's coming off the hinges. 
What an atmosphere. An insane amount of adrenaline. Must be coursing through these competitors' veins. Ripley with the wherewithal to counter. Dodges. It's rocked again by some well-timed offense. Yeah, this is Lions in control and looking toward the finish line. Whoa. Don't do it! Suicide dive! Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. What's coming next? A back suplex! Lions is wasting no motion. Smart play against Rhea Ripley. Attacking hard to create any advantage for yourself. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Elbow throw saying not today. Shot right to the kidney. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. There's the rip tie. No doubt Ripley just ended this. Calls the pin off with a rope break. With the counter. The roundhouse kept scratching and clawing. This could be it. She finding the strength. This is on. Grabs a hold. Ripley. Rhea went down in a heap. Two count. She did it. She picked up the victory. Here is your winner, Nikita Lions. And we'll have to mark this down in the L column for Rhea Ripley. Nikita wanted to prove that she wasn't all roar and no bite. And I would say she did just that. of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Swagger on another level. 
Here comes and his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Look, I have to admit, I hold Melo in very high regard. His impressive ascension has been nothing short of meteoric. Multiple title wins, main event matches, this young man has quickly done it all. With no signs of slowing down anytime soon, Hayes has ambition, talent, and motivation to spare. We know Seth Rollins is a master of mind games, so if you're this superstar, whatever it takes, whatever you have to do, keep Rollins out of your head. We got the bell, and this one is official with Melo Hayes. Melo drips confidence and demands to shine on the big stage. Do you see that man's solid 24 karat gold rope chain? Mello got it locked. He's fully equipped to set it off and turn the party out. Hayes wants everyone's phones to be focused on him because when he shoots, he doesn't miss. But he is in the ring with a visionary, with a revolutionary in Seth freaking Rollins. And you can't undersell just how much that set to the outside. Gonna risk it all right here. Thinking about it, thinking about it, gonna do it. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Whoa. What a bullseye. He can do it here. He narrowly avoids the count. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. He's been placed in the corner now. Heading up, he's thinking big from the top. What? Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. Toss back into the ring. Right in the stomach creates the separation. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, a double knee face buster. Carmelo looking as smooth as he is powerful. There's two. A kick out before three. And frustration might be starting to set in. Face first. Driven down. Rollins with the wrist trap. Knee strike to the face. He's got the answer for that one. Take down. Put it to the cross face. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Seth retaliates. Complete control. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh my God. Moonsault. You see that height. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Mello being stalked. This is not where you want to be. Look out. The stop connects. Is there any air left in Hayes? Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure 
guts to kick out there. What a battle Rollins has waged so far, but he's not finished yet. The cross the top rope. Amazing sequence from Rollins. Carmella has to gather the energy to turn the tables. What a low find. Kidneys. Golly. Landed face first. Seth on the receiving end of that attack. At this stage, fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Oh, man, that was nasty. Oh! Carmelo putting it all on the line. Carmelo turns that away. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, impressive counter. Uh-oh. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And concern being shown across Seth's face at this point. Seth has got to dig deep and find a way to push through this. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind. Inverted DDT. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. Stop. Now Rollins needs to end this. Cover! No, he beats the count. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. So Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. A precision shot, and now Rollins is bleeding. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Fails to connect on the springboard. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Up high. Oh, no, hands, nothing but net. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Two. A kick out. I don't believe it. What a kick out. I can't believe what we're seeing from Seth Rollins tonight. You got to imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Uh oh. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding Whoa. nobody home. Ah, oh, striking with an A. Slice bread. What a counter. Power slam. Everyone watching this is on pins and needles. What a match. A battle for the ages. You can't help but get amped. Oh, forearm to the back. Rollins. Set Rollins back of the neck with a forearm. What a 
blow. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to. Seth Rollins. Right to the back of the net. Rollins just turned the lights out. Makes the cover. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins! Carmelo is stunned in defeat. Melo left it all in the ring tonight, but he just wasn't able to pull out the win. A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Giant, Omas! A true dominant giant. No kidding. I got a neck ache just looking up at him. Omas's stature alone fills his opponents with fear. I feel fear in my soul. I'm not, I'm not even in the ring with the guy. We'll have to contend with Gunther's devastating, unforgiving, punishing chops. Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of and pure his malice. Opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test. And they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose. Absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. The ring general Gunther ready to wage war in the ring here. Cole, there are so many metaphors to describe Gunther's abilities in the ring, and you went with the most obvious one. That's what I get for expecting anything more than average from you. That's where Gunther and I are very similar, Cole. We expect everyone to operate on our high level, and anything less is an insult. And into the count. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Each 
to those strikes. That's not right. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Oof. Kick finds it. Ripcord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. Headlock applied. Toss their opponent. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. He's returning fire. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He catches Guther with a big counter. You feel that in the air? There's a deeply personal rivalry at play here, and it's making the whole arena feel electric right now. You're right. It's incredible how the emotions of the competitors can dramatically alter the mood here. Omos looking to end this. Choke slam. A move like that can only be delivered by someone the size of the Nigerian giant. Uh-oh. There's Gunther with a counter. Hoisted up. A spine buster from the heavens by Omas. It's all Omas's for the taking. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Down to Odin. Will it be? And our official is unable to get there and count this pin. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Obviously still has some fight left. Having Omas look at you that way has to shake you to your core. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. He may get the three count right here. I think so. And a kick out at two. Now you got to think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. them into a whole other area code. And Gunther starting to really feel the wear and tear on this battle. Yeah, as Omas clearly just wants to continue to impose his will with that. Counter! And now there's an opening. Oh, what a wind-up. Real European uppercut. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Hoisted yeah. up and driven down. Explosion. Oh, Moss won't come back from that. Amazing! I think it took every inch of Omas's massive frame to kick out of that one. It is just unbelievable. And Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, what a chancery. Somehow, some way, these superstars are still fighting on. If this continues, oh Moss, earth-shaking impact. Moss got it. Can he end it? All right, kicked out. What an amazing level of fight still left in Gupta. And Omas is as surprised as we are. He clearly didn't expect anybody to kick out of that. Super kick. Gets him with the counter. Muscles up there, a pull explosion. Guto might just have it. Two. Oh, now a beat down after the match. Wants to end this once and for all. Uh, oh, Jeff, got a table. Got a freaking table. Oh, no. Don't you think this is a little overboard, Corey? Not about what I think. This superstar clearly 
has malicious intentions. 